Hello from the dung heap, everybody. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> a lot of my them. friends. <laughs> There he is. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everybody. And we live. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hello, everybody. Hi, good to see you all today. So, uh here we are again. Here we are again. Yeah. So uh, today I decided that I was going to play my intro. I've got puppy pictures and kitty pictures and crap pictures to show you. But, you know, sometimes uh, we, we got to take care of some business, too. So um, I want to thank everyone for all their support. Uh, it was it was a tough stream yesterday. It was tough for me and for many of you as well. And sometimes I, I feel like things need to be said. And uh, just like Natalie said this morning, when the internet's buzzing about things, when uh, the community wants to talk about something, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shut up. And uh, I, and I really, I really appreciated her saying that as well. So um, there's been some mention of some emails that I, that I received. I um, decided that because they were written to me as um, that would under the hat or the capacity of an aftermath foundation board member um i i feel like it's within my rights to share share these um because it's of interest um to to some if not many uh, plus um what i'm finding lately is i guess i gotta bring the receipts i guess i gotta bring the receipts and i hate to do it but i but today i'm bringing the receipts um i got a, so so much so much encouragement and support yesterday um i also got you know a very small percentage but some um i don't know if you call them apologists empathizers sympathizers i i don't know uh people that um you know made made it clear um that they feel comfortable using words um like toxic like venom um i i don't feel like i was spewing venom yesterday and i'm not going to spew venom today um i don't believe any of you were spewing venom i didn't see any venom being spewed um if if speaking our truth and speaking what we believe is toxic and venom then so be it but um i'm i'm going to i'm going to just show you um what I have to say. Um, one thing I want to talk about before I get into the emails is um, words. Um, I think words matter. I think, like like we discussed yesterday, I think tone matters. I think I think that um, that tone and attitude matter, and also the words that you choose to use matter. I believe, and. Um, I'd like to give um, our friend Johnny Tech just a little American history lesson, okay? Um, and uh, he used he chose to, chose to use a word. I don't even like to utter it, but I'm going to read this from the NAACP website, and uh, I think it's important. I think it's important. So um, he he said um, I can't quote word for word because I don't have it up, but uh, talking about um, people that are going after Mike and which I guess, you know, many of us could be considered uh, in this group that, um, yeah, that we're going after Mike. And he said something like, let's lunch him. It was literally the, the last 10 seconds of his video. He left us with that thought that we are a, a lunch mob. 
you know, um, and poor Mike, poor Mike. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk a lot about poor Mike and then we can joke around guys. I got new emojis. I want to do a Zenu Marlene. Um, and, uh, today I'm, I'm, uh, you know, sporting my inner Jezebel. I got, well, I got black on, but I do have a uh, mascara and eyeliner on like a Jezebel. So if you look at the, yeah, I got my spatula cup. So I see this, I see this spatulas flying. <laughs> I see this spatulas flying. So, uh, yeah, play with the emojis <laughs> if you want, if you're, if your name's green, if not, everyone's welcome. Everyone's welcome. So, uh, ground rules, you know, we're going to, we're going to be talking about some heavy things. Also, uh, I see Dr. Who Heather. Thank you so much for being here. Um, trigger warning, trigger warning. And, um, yeah, I, I had to really prepare myself to even talk about this first thing because it really, it really does bother me, but I think it needs to be said. So, all right, let's do this. <clears throat> and just, I'm going to try to take my time. Um, so just bear with me. And, uh, I have my fabulous husband in the background and he'll be starring your questions. So please put question or comment. And I see some Jezebel coffees and some cups <laughs> and some burning biscuits and some Davies and little, little Davies. You guys, you guys crack me up. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Ready? Okay. So I look this up on the NAACP <clears throat> website. It says, what are lynchings? A lynching is the public unaliving of an individual who has not received any due process. These executions were often carried out by lawless mobs, though police officers did participate under the pretext of justice. Lynchings <clears throat> were violent public acts that white people used to terrorize and control black people in the 19th and 20th centuries, particularly in the South. Lynchings typically evoke images of black men and women <clears throat> hanging from trees. They also, but they involved other extreme brutality, such as torture, mutilation, decapitation, desecration. Some victims Victims were burned alive. Okay. So um, I just wanted to bring that up just because I think in a, um, a public forum like this, I think words matter. Um, keeping in mind that we have viewers from all over the world, all over the world, all different uh, ethnic um backgrounds, all different colors, different religions, different everything. To use that word, I think is, is, is terrible. It's an insult. And yeah, it's just a word, but words matter. Words matter, especially to somebody who um, claims to be so highly educated, right? Always reminds us um, how, you know, smart he is, how many books he's written, every book, I think, um, that's ever existed. Um, maybe he was a ghostwriter. He didn't get, you know, enough credit for it. But um, yeah, Johnny Tech is, he's the bomb, right? Um, he's also speaking as a new board member of the Aftermath Foundation. So words matter. Words matter. And these people need to be trauma-informed and all kinds of informed. Yes. Form of torture. Yeah. Um, nobody wants to do that to Mike or anybody else. I don't know anybody, anybody that wants to hurt Mike Rinder. So um, I just wanted to say that. <clears throat> all right. Oh, excuse me, guys. Let's get into these emails. Please stand by for a little sip of water. Remind me to do a Xena Marlene, and I do have a Marlene emoji now, guys. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's do this. Okay, uh, this says reply from uh, Marilyn Honig, R E. Uh, Afterbath Foundation. So this was in reply to a, a comment that I attempted to make on Mike Rinder's blog. And instead of publishing it, he emailed me. And so I responded and said, you know, hi, I'm Marilyn, blah, blah, blah. Um, and told him who I was, the Zenu Crochet lady and all that. So he said, um, so this was the second email 
he sent me. Hello, Marilyn. I had not realized this was you. I'm very glad to find that find out that it is. I know I'm not wasting my time in writing. Too often, people who have started out sounding like they were sincere ended up consuming my time and then respond with, you're nothing but a wife beater and I'm glad you have cancer. And I certainly would never say that. Um, I don't know anybody that has. And if they did, that's terrible and unacceptable and wrong. Um, I don't condone that at all. So um, this is what started um, a back and forth for a little while. In this email, which I'm not going to share all of it because we would be here, we would literally be here all day. And um, a lot of the things that he said, I just felt were just awful and wrong and coming from a place of absolute um, blind rage and vendetta against uh, Aaron Smith, Aaron Smith 11 and Mike Brown. And um, I don't, I don't want to give that any any thought because it was just like long, like it was exhausting reading these guys. It really was. But I did pick out some things that had to do with the Aftermath Foundation itself and um, some things I, I feel are important to talk about. So um, I don't, I don't want to just put up all his dead agent pack because he probably would, would love for everybody to see all the, all the crap that isn't even true. So, okay. Um, next. So he's responding to my response. So he does he does put some snippets of what I said. Okay. <clears throat> this is part of what I said at the top in italics. I don't know what is worse, the deafening silence of the board or the angry and unprofessional lashing out, namely by Mark Headley and Matt Pesh in that awful dogs and fleas letter from the lawyer. Not a good look. So that was my words. And then he said, well, perhaps you can understand now the deafening silence, though we have not been entirely silent. As for Mark and Matt, given the abuse that their wives had been through, and mine more than those two even, uh, it is hardly a surprise. This, and he's he's explaining too why um, Mark Matt, I'm sorry, Matt Pesh had had said that had written that comment on Kelly Copter's um, video, which he confirmed 100% that it was Matt Pesh, and he said we had. We asked him or told him. We told him to take it down. Uh, I didn't actually screenshot that receipt, but anybody wants to see it, I can I can show that too. Okay. Um, so given the abuse that they've been through, and mine more than those two even, is hardly a surprise. This is perhaps the best reason for not having husbands and wives on a board. <clears throat> we have all felt somewhat helpless in being able to defend our spouses. As for dogs and fleas letter, yes, not good. So he's saying the dogs and fleas letter was not good. So that's some admission, right? But <clears throat> this was us, but there's a but. Uh, well, yeah, that wasn't good, but this was us trying to get someone disconnected to respond to the insanity that was being directed at us. Here we go, guys. Here's a big reveal. Um. Alex the rabbit had no interest in helping victims of Scientology, just getting clicks. In this instance, she was the quote dog and I had responded to her. Had I responded to her, I mean, I would have been guilty no matter what I said. And I did respond to that part of it as well. I think um, it's a little bit out of, out of order here, but I, I will read what I said to that. Um, and this was also in italics. I just wanted to present to you some of the other points that I brought up and some were sloughed off. Um, he was more interested in, in, um, trying to, trying to get me to think that, um, Mike Rinder, or I'm sorry, Mark, <laughs> that, that Aaron Smith Levitt and Mike, not Rinder, Mike Brown were the devil incarnate, that they were hor horrible, horrible, horrible people. Okay. So I said, um, I could go on about some other issues, such as the troublesome wording of the liability form, the treatment of some of the survivors, and the lack of professionalism by one of the Aftermath Foundation employees who is trolling many of the channels and FB groups. Not very, very professional, not user-friendly to say the least. So I said that. And um, again, I have that receipt. I didn't, I'm not going to pull it up because it's just so much, guys, so much. But he asked me who that was, and I told him. 
and this was early March, so a few weeks ago, that person still is trolling, trolling the chats in the comments. So he said he was going, he wanted to know who it was. He was going to take care of it right away or something like that. He addressed it right away. Obviously, um, either he hasn't or they haven't listened to him. Okay, next. Okay. And this is just one of the many examples of him, you know, giving me his resume, his accolades, all the things he's done, all the wonderful things, okay? I have gained nothing from the many, many hours that I've spent helping Mike, Mike Brown and Rosemary. Neither has Claire. On the other hand, Mike and Rosemary not only got their refund from Scientology because I found lawyers for them, they also got more money from the foundation than anyone else in its history. And yet we are supposedly trying to take advantage of them. Now, remember, this is coming from a member of the board of a charity, a public charity. Uh, do they have any confidential confidentiality um, policies or procedures? They should. This is absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. Mike Brown then stirred up Miriam Francis to attack me, <clears throat> to attack me with false claims I was engaged in criminal activities. He did her a massive disservice. Okay, I'm not sure what this means. Um, I did send all this to Rabbit. I'm wondering maybe she could speak on this, but I'm not too sure. Um, so she knows that she's a dog. <laughs> Um, he did her a massive disservice as she has destroyed her credibility as a witness against her father by falsely accusing me of crimes. One of the few corrob corroborating witnesses she had for her possible case. I thought he didn't know anything about it. How could he corroborate her story? I'm just wondering. Um, I'm no lawyer. I'm no professional. I'm no anything. But um, I'm just wondering what he meant by that statement. Okay. Okay, next. And by the way, I didn't even ask him anything about Aaron or Mike Brown. He just kept volunteering all kinds of stuff. Um, just basically trying to turn me against them, I believe. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so this is me speaking in italics. I do know how much work goes into a nonprofit, especially on a volunteer basis. I commend all of you for your sacrifice and dedication. No one is questioning that. Personally, charity work has been the most rewarding thing I've ever done. If it is such a burden for you all, why do it? And then this is his answer. As I said above, okay, so this is a little bit backwards, but I'll show you where he said it above too. Sorry for the for the topsy-turvy uh, out of order, but I will cover that. As I said above, it is no longer worth the trade-off of reward versus pain. So we are all trying to find replacements and turn the foundation over to others. He said, we are all trying to find replacements and turn the foundation over to others. So far, uh, three have been added. They Now they've officially been added to the, the webpage that says meet the board members and everybody is still there, all the originals, besides Luis and Aaron, who actually founded the foundation. Just say it. Okay, next. Uh, and I go on. Okay, this is another thing that I want to clear up because anybody... Uh, didn't didn't see it. I'm going to say it for the, those in the back. As far as your, I'm asking him this. As far as your offer to be on the board, I've noticed that you and Matt have been flippantly offering this to people who have offered criticisms, such as the commenter named Rachel. He said I was not being flip flippant. So he was not being flippant and asking me to be on the board. And I could show that receipt too, which I did a whole stream about it, uh, about Mark Headley lying about me on Discord. Okay. I was not being flippant. In fact, my response to Rachel resulted in someone stepping up who was a real possibility to join the board, a lawyer and child victim ag advocate who was never, who has never been a Scientologist. Uh, do you know Rachel? And I don't think Rachel is the, is the lawyer, but neither of them are on the board that I can see. Um, yeah. So maybe they changed their minds. I don't know. <clears throat> Next. Okay, this this was what he was referring to because he was saying it for the second time. Uh, we are trying to find people who will join the board so we can get on with our lives. You have no idea the toll has it has taken on all of us, especially the women. We now have some candidates to take over the board, but it's not an easy sell. 
Okay, I'm going to skip that part, but you know, you can go back and read that if you want. Okay, and this is what I just read. I had just uh, circled that little part that I read twice. Okay, and this was my response to what he had said about Rabbit. I said, honestly, I think that the Miriam situation was the tipping point for many. Whether what she's saying is 100% true or not, it is pretty clear that, that she has been mistreated, meaning, meaning Miriam. She turned to Alex, quote, Rabbit, in parentheses, for help. Rabbit is a social worker, not just a random person looking for clicks. She also has children and chose not to use her name on YouTube, which I don't blame her. Her last name, which I'm assuming that's why she, I, that's why I would, you know, so maybe I'm a little off on that, but that's what I would assume. Okay. Assumption on my part, uh, which I don't blame her. She has been mocked by Mark Headley and called a dog by your lawyer, all because she tried to help. Has there been any apologies offered to her or to Miriam? Just a question. Just a question. Okay. So. <clears throat> After the third long novel of an email, I just, I was just exhausted. I was just exhausted. So I offered, I said, listen, I can't, I just can't keep going back and forth. Um, I'm not a good reader. I'm not a good writer. I just, I just can't anymore. Um, and I said, if you, if, you know, you want to just meet on StreamYard, we can do your StreamYard. So, you know, I'm not recording it. And, you know, you have no reason to trust me, but you can trust me if you, if you want to continue, continue this conversation. I can't do this back and forth on email anymore. So this was his response. Excuse me. <clears throat> After like writing all this stuff, like obviously he wanted my answer, but he didn't want to do it face to face on his StreamYard, like I was offering. He said, Thanks for the offer, Marilyn. And the only reason why I'm not showing like his name, because I, I didn't want to have to blank out his email every single time. But again, you know, if I'm challenged, I will, I will show it. Okay. He said, thanks for the offer, Marilyn. I'm not concerned about you recording any conversation. I just don't really want to spend any more time on this at this point, as I don't think there is any return to be had in the investment of more time with you. You have been very helpful. And as I said, your perspective has been enlightening, Mike. Um, okay, so he he wrote me a third email to get my input on it, ask me questions, but then all of a sudden, he doesn't want to spend any more time on this at this point. Um, there's no return to be had in the investment of more time with you. Okay, and um, I'm a little proud of myself, guys. You'll see what my answer was to that. Because that burned my biscuits. It burned my biscuits. I just, I'm just showing you this part because I want you to see what I was effing dealing with. Because his, his claws came out, his true colors came out. After dead agenting people left and right. Okay. I said, let I could be of some value. I understand that I'm not worth any more investment of your time as there is no return value for you. There was never anything in it for me, nor was I expecting anything. Alas, alas, I will consider myself dismissed, sir. I'm glad I said that. I will consider myself dismissed, sir, Marilyn. P.S. One last piece of advice. Maybe not treat people like that. This is not the Sea Org. <clears throat> And he answered me, Marilyn, that was not intended to be a to be disrespectful in any way. I'm sorry it was so poorly stated. I needed to explain why I don't want to talk. Don't want to talk. And it was not because I don't trust you. I was genuine when I said I appreciated your time and your perspective was very enlightening. I just don't think further time uh, either by either you or me is going to advance anything. You will continue to believe the worst about me, which never said that. And I will continue to feel misunderstood and unfairly targeted based on failing, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then, um, let's see. You will continue to believe the worst about me. I will continue to feel misunderstood and unfairly targeted based on uh, failing to handle the removal of ASL to everyone's satisfaction. Please help my, accept my apology. I do appreciate your time. Um, 
I didn't say anything about his removing ASL. Um, all of my questions were about how the board is being, um, you know, being operated and handled. And yeah, um, I didn't mention Aaron once. He did. He couldn't stop. He has blind rage, a vendetta, and this is this is what he got out of hours and hours and hours of writing and me reading hours and hours and hours. But to be fair, he did say, P.S., your P.S., your P.S. is well taken. I agree. It's something I know is a weakness, <clears throat> meaning, you know, don't treat people like that. So I guess he's agreeing that he dismisses people and um, treats people like like shit is, is what I got out of it. Okay. So maybe he should, um, think about that. Maybe he should think about that. I, I'm not, I think that's the end of it. Yep. <laughs> There's a puppy. <laughs> okay. And we'll go back to that guys. So I have been <clears throat> on that screen the whole time. So I haven't seen one bit of the chat. So I apologize for that. I apologize for that, but I am going to Minimize that. And um, wow. Okay. There's a lot. There's a lot. And I got some start. Thank you, honey. Um, I'm just going to shout out. Uh, I'm just so glad to see you all here. Acupunk, Ellie, Peekaboo, Bunny, <laughs> Brooke, John, Stephanie. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I feel like romper room. Did I see blow drill. Oh my goodness. Okay. What's I got here? Um, yeah, I'm just going to pop this up. Rabbit has more qualifications on paper than Mike and John, and they both dismissed her. Born and biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. Probably put together, honestly. And she definitely has a hell of a lot more in, um, intelligence, especially uh, emotional intelligence. Absolutely. <sighs> Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Uh, I love a fired up Marilyn. You know, I'm... I'm actually relatively calm today because, uh, I, you know, yesterday was tough. It really was tough. And I couldn't even watch back because I knew I was, I was shaking. I had a lot of ums and not, but you know, now, um, I, I know, I know that what I say said is true. And I was like, I'm going to put it out there for better or for worse. You know, if everybody hates me for showing personal emails, uh, the board of directors of the Aftermath Foundation sure as hell did showed personal emails. And I feel like this isn't personal. This was written as a pretty much as um, in representation of the Aftermath Foundation. He kept saying we, he kept speaking for the board members. So, you know, it's all, it's all fair to me, but, but thank you. Holding, holding a giant safe space. Your heart is something. I love you. Thank you guys. Um, King's kid. Hi there. He's really out of touch with reality. It's hopeless. It seems to try to get through to him. Yeah, honestly, I agree with that. I'm done. I'm done with that. Um, and that's why I said, you know, I gave him one last chance. I was like, do you want to talk face to face? Because I think, like I said, tone matters. You know, I thought maybe I could get through to him, but nope, nope. And then to dismiss me like that. And I'm glad I called him, sir. It just, <laughs> oh, that just felt good. It felt good. To, to say that to him, you know, consider myself dismissed. Um, you might want to check out HG Tudor's channel. He might want to check that out too, but I don't think he's self-aware. So like HG Tudor is self-aware narcissist. So we got some, uh, cubs and Zenos and Jezebels and burning biscuits <laughs> and gotta have the, yeah, to be fair, I had to have the coffee because we've been talking a lot about tea, but the name of the channel is Coffee Cults and Crafts, right? So we had to we had to add that. Love for Squirrel, thank you so much. Hit the like button. Yeah, thank you to all who are here. Uh, burning biscuits, the dung heap. <laughs> you guys are great. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna let it get me down. Um, you know, we talk about on this channel. We talk about our triggers, like knowing your triggers. And then a couple of weeks ago, we talked about uh, what's called glimmers, right? It's like the opposite of triggers. Know your glimmers. And some of my glimmers are uh, my puppies, <laughs> um, my kids, the music that they that that they play, um, and and all of you coming on and talking to my friends. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good time, even though we're talking about serious serious stuff. So. Bunny Melon B, 
gaslighting pity party. That's what that was. They're so transparent. I hear you. I hear you. Um, I've learned a lot on this space. That's for sure. I've learned a lot. And uh, one thing I realized, I don't owe anybody my time. I don't owe anybody my support, my loyalty, especially if um, they show these these types of behaviors um, or disrespect me or uh, stab me in the back, go behind my back, not having it. I don't owe anybody anything. So. Po on the go. Uh, Marilyn is such a disconnected thing to say. Yeah, which part? <laughs> good to see you, Po. Thank you for being here. You're a good friend, supporter. Appreciate it. Not a supporter in that way, but we support each other, you know. Um, super pop. Not only did they use that word, they were laughing at it. Yeah, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at that. Uh, Mike Jesus. Hey, Jesus is here. <laughs> Mike Jesus. And it's Sunday, right? Comment. When people use harsh, over-the-top language to attack, it's to further hide from facts and not be held accountable. Yeah. Yeah. Just like um, Mike being asked, have you ever, you know, uh, criminally attacked, violently attacked a child? Um, no one's accusing him of that. No one has accused him of that that I know of. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just unbelievable. So. Yep, Paul on the go. Where's Duncan? Um, he's, uh, I should see him. His, his camera's not working, but he's there. I promise. Where's Duncan? We don't need him. No, nope. we don't need him. Mm -hmm. uh, Han Hanley, hi there. Uh, you're so right. Words and tone matter. So does behavior and body language. Mike Rinder hardly blink his eyes during the first couple of minutes. Very odd. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, I still can't quite get used to that. Um, I saw a video yesterday where somebody was just like looking at the camera, like a, you know, deer in the headlights and it just, it's off putting. I, I don't understand. I don't understand that. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't know if it has to do with TRs or whatever that is, but, um, that's very, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's a little disturbing, a little disturbing to me. It's hard to believe that it's genuine, honestly. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go through some starred, and please put question or comment. Duncan will pick up as many as he can. Dr. Heather helps support our mama bear <laughs> and become a cub. Yes, I, I love having new cubs. <laughs> um. Oh, thank you for posting the link. Yeah, I guess I've had people ask me about if they have like an iPhone. Uh, for some reason, the join button isn't there um, on the iPhone. But if you use that link or if you go, it should be in the description of this video as well. A link to go to Safari. Or is, it, that was, is that what it's called? Safari. And then you can join that way if anybody wants to join. So. Peekaboo, receipts are appreciated. So many talk and talk and show no receipts whatsoever. Yeah, and I've had those receipts for, for weeks. I didn't want to have to show them. Um, but, you know, people push me. Um, I'm going to show them. So, uh, yeah, throwing around words like toxic yesterday. I'm going to show them. Um, I don't think the truth is toxic. I think the truth is the truth. So. But thank you for that, Peekaboo. Appreciate that. Because, you know, I am, I'll be honest, I am played with a lot of self-doubt sometimes. And it's like, why don't you just shut up? Why don't you just let it go? Why don't you just, zzz, 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 you know? And I'm like, but I can't. If I can't, then I can't, you know? There we go. Thank you. I soon. Shutting up for the greater good is toxic. Right. Thank you so much for, for that. Thank you. Dr. Heather, here's our chat rules. No hate speech, derogatory marks, or spamming. No fighting. Please be kind and respect the hosts and guests and mods. Don't be a Rodney. Yes, thank you. Don't be a Rodney. <laughs> Mary Reno, got my even just got receipts mug. <laughs> All right, ready to go. That's right. It's Sunday. I got to get I gotta get that mug. It's in my store, guys, if anybody's interested. <laughs> Not to do a commercial or anything, but yeah. 
peekaboo again, um, I soon, exactly. Those that aren't, aren't used to being questioned or feel as if they shouldn't ever be questioned, uh, take any questions as an attack. Yeah, I agree with that. I've definitely experienced that recently, recently. Um, oh, on the go, wait, you can redact info. Well, then why did it, Mike Render do that for Miriam? Um, I, I mean, that's, that's more in your wheelhouse as far as uh, redacting. Are you talking about on her police report? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that was a, uh, intentional oopsie or just an oopsie. Uh, I don't know, but that was well, yucky. It's not good, not good. And I I covered up his his personal email, so just saying. Um, George Massey, message to Mr. You cannot unshed a bed by taking more. Let's <laughs> Duncan starred this. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, yeah, I guess that's true. That's true. Blow drill. Hey there, friend. Because our minds on our money and what they're doing with it is on our minds. Mind on our money and our money on our minds. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I forgot how that goes. <laughs> now I got to listen to it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, Mick H. Gifted a. Oh, thank you so much. I got another cub. Thank you so much, Mitch. Mick H. And whoever got that, um, if you could say thank you to Mitch. Mick. Mick H, that's great. Thank you so much. I got another cub. Uh, 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 yay. Oh my God, I got another, another cub. Lisa E. I'm sorry. I, I just, I have to clap. I get so excited. Thank you so much for becoming a member. It's great. And uh, I guess all I have to offer is some emojis <laughs> and a scrapbooker. That's right. I used to love scrapbooking. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yay, a new cub. That is great. So excited. Okay. Uh, I soon comment in the words of Eddard Stark, nothing, nothing someone says before the word but really counts. Game of Thrones. All right, then. Yeah, I can get behind that. Um, Fiona said, comment, <clears throat> if this is how they react to a victim of the most disturbing and vile S.A., how are, are any victims of Scientology ever meant to go to them for empathy and assistance? Yep, mic drop right there. Very well said. Couldn't say it any better. Asperia, hey there, sweetheart. Comment, Mike Renner's email is dripping with paranoia, perhaps. Paranoia, perhaps things would weigh less heavily on him if he stopped making shit up. Just tell the truth and free yourself from the stress. Yeah. And honestly, guys, well, let me see. I probably showed you a tenth, a tenth of, of, of the crap, you know? Yeah. It was exhausting. It was exhausting. Um, Peekaboo again. Uh, Rabbit, Rabbit has the degrees to back up her words. She's a trained social worker that has many, many years of experience and knowledge about trauma and how it needs to be handled. Absolutely. Absolutely agree with that. Lisa E. Marilyn, did you know that Natalie called you the mom of your best feet TV? <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I love Natalie. She's amazing. Oh man, I get I get tired just watching her. <laughs> She's just she works her but Jesus hers off. She she does. And um, yeah, she always does it with a smile. And she's I was I was offended for all, I mean, of course. Her name wasn't mentioned, but that whole thing of like, oh, there's the doers and then there's the there's the you know, commenters. Um, she can do it all. She can do it all, and she does do it all. And uh, yeah, I'm there for it. I always start my day with Natalie. I was listening. I didn't hear that part because I got a phone call, but I I did go back and see some of it. But thank you, <laughs> Natalie's awesome. Um, I'm just looking at some of the comments. Everybody, and uh, Dunk, if you have any uh, more you want to star for me, you can do that. Um, 
TGG, don't bring wives into it, please. Men love to distance it uh, from them with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, I'm my own person. Duncan, Duncan, tell, Duncan can tell you that. So, yeah, I agree with that. I don't need anybody to protect me. Um, he absolutely would and will and has, but he doesn't, he doesn't need to, you know, so. Uh, Andrea Wise, question, is there any chance this would be considered inciting violence? Um, uh, not sure what you mean by the thing I read. Um, I, I am not sure what you mean. I absolutely am not inciting violence whatsoever. In fact, I'm just pointing out that um, just even the suggestion of that is is absolutely ludicrous and and not not okay and wrong. So yeah, I if that's if that's the contact context that I uh, understood. So all right, just uh, yeah, please put comment or question. I'm going down the line trying to find some more stuff. Um, Uh, from Kate, comment, words, uh, tone, context, and history always matter. Ignorance is never a valid excuse. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not like a big word police person, but that really rubbed me the wrong way, especially in the context, in, in the body language and the laughing and the fact that that was the last third, the last thing we heard, the last thing It just, oh. Get a clue. Get a clue. Those two, I tell you. Mm, I tell you. Burn my biscuits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John. Yeah. Tongue in cheek. Yeah. Al Alex is a heartless monster. I'm sure you've all seen that as well on her streams. Right. Yeah. She's she's a sweetheart. And she's there. And uh, I respect her a lot. Um, Lena in love <clears throat> comment as a trained teacher in voice liberation and natural sound voice carries frequency words carry uh word carries origin and energy using words emanates both okay uh, both frequency and origin okay and directed projected via ego they can be like swords yeah Yep, words can cut like a knife, right? Absolutely. Hey, Dylan. Yes. Hey, Dylan. Is see ya? Sorry, I'm just uh, going down the line here. Good to see you all. Mary Reno, Ellie, Janet from Another Planet. Good to see you. Uh, Nico Squirrel, John Van Geest. A blow drill again. <laughs> Brooke Elliott. Andrea, Andrea Neverin. Uh, who else we got here? Totally Jersey. Love it. Love it. Good to see you. Good to see so many new names as well. I got just M. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to pull up M's comment. Why would someone else's opinion keep anyone from testifying? That is so sick. Reminds me of, I have the info you're looking for if you answer my questions. Yeah. Yeah. That statement was um, very troublesome and curious to me. I wasn't sure what that meant at all. Yeah. Mary Reno. Um, we Can we count how many times Mike Render used the words I and me in his writings? Um, I don't know, guys. I was brought up, I was raised in a cult, so I don't think I can count that high, honestly. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All right, sorry, I'm just going down the line here. Uh, Calico 26. Oh, god, Mike, you don't piss off victims and talk shit about them, it isn't a good look. Uh, stop attacking Rosemary and Mike Brown. Yes. And uh, I will say that there was much, much, much more about them. Uh, Mike Brown gave me permission to share um, any part of that. I chose not to. I chose only to share that part um, as it had to do with um, Mike just puff puffing himself up about all the hard work he did. Um, 
and uh, about supposedly um, Mike Brown um, encouraging or inciting, you know, the attack um, of Miriam on poor, poor Mike Rinder. Poor Mike Rinder. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very good point, Paddle. Um, Paddle, <laughs> Pat, oh, he doesn't see that he wrongfully kicked out Aaron and now wants to give the foundation away. How much money is left in the account? I don't know how much money is left in the account, but the point I wanted to make by bringing this up is whether or not Aaron was wrongfully kicked out. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think that, um, they were within their rights, whether it was right or wrong, but they, they handled it wrong and they should have understood that the stakeholders were going to want him to them to answer for their actions. And they never saw that coming. So, uh, that there's that, that piece of it, but you're absolutely right. Now they want to give it away. It's like, you fought so hard to protect the foundation from Aaron, who's just so terrible, which what he did wasn't illegal. You know, um, these things that, that they're doing to the victims, not saying they're illegal either, but they're not, they're not right. They're not ethical. And they're, and they're not, um, a private thing that's between, you know, a uh, husband and wife. This is stuff that is being done to, um, the survivors of Scientology, which are the community to which they were, the Aftermath Foundation was incorporated to help, to help. So, yeah. But thank you. Thank you for that, Pato. <clears throat> okay. I don't know if this is in any context, so um, I'm just going to read it, though, because it looked good. <laughs> okay, blow gel. It works like WDC-OSA, Watchdog Committee OSA. Is that what that is? Uh, works like Watchdog Committee OSA sends an order down to CO OSA, Commander Operator. I have no idea what that is, but I think I did know the Watchdog uh, OSA. Then tasks a JR to hire a lawyer. A, I don't know. <laughs> I got to have you come on and explain this stuff sometime. Uh, JR to hire a lawyer who in turn hires a PI who then hires a PI that can be told anything needed to get. <laughs> oh, I got to take a breath. Uh, anything needed to get the data Scientology desires. There you go. Yeah. Big chain of command for a um, for little babies. Uh, Davies fake space Navy. Yeah, it's all fake. Yep, especially the little women, especially the little women. Yep. Yeah. I had somebody email me a few months back um telling me I should uh watch their channel, um and have my husband watch it with me. Um that there wasn't really any reading that I just would listen and have Duncan watch it with me. I guess, you know, um I was basically being called dumb that I can't read which I have said that I have a hard time reading. So fair enough, fair enough. But um, I never said that I needed my husband to explain things to me. Um, yeah. So I'm the little woman, little woman. And I told Duncan and he just laughed his ass off. He's like, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So one second, I'm just going to pause for a sip of water. Alrighty. Carrie J, comment. I'm sure it's a hard sell, but maybe not for the reasons Mike Render thinks. I think you're absolutely right. I know for me, I wouldn't have considered, even though you go ask me twice. Nope, because I'm not really afraid of OSA. He's talking about the fair gaming from OSA. I would be more concerned about um, their behavior. And even though they said they're stepping down, I haven't seen it. They technically have not, they physically have not set, stepped down and I don't, I don't see them, um, really letting go of the reins. Uh, they chose their friends to take over and, uh, Stephanie Hutchinson is super problematic, super problematic. So, 
uh, Highland Lassie, he was so pissed off. He said he wasn't invited on the Aftermath show. He's the most knowledgeable person on COS. Uh, totally narcissist. Him and Mike Render are fossils, bygone years that they live in. Yeah. I, if you're talking about John Atak, guys, you got you got to check out um, at Diane Addicts, which is Marisa's channel. She's got on her. If it, if there's a mod that can check, that can look that up. I think it's at Diane with uh, two N's and then E T E X, and you did a community page uh, post, and then she did a little video this morning, and oh my god, I was laughing my ass off. I I can't, I can't even do it justice. You just got to see it. You just got to see it. She's uh, she's got she's got so much experience in this space. Um, tells it like it is, and she's freaking hilarious. She's hilarious, and she's a good friend. Yeah. Tina McBride, he uh, blow drill. He forgets that there are people who know how it works. Yep. And if anyone knows how it works, it's blow drill. It's blow drill. Yeah. Van <clears throat> John, thank you for this, John. Uh, it's not just my imagination. John Van Geese, that's so condescending. I don't think there, I don't think there's a return to be had in the investment of more time with you. Yeah. And I, I was trying to do him a favor. I don't give a flying spatula i don't give us flying spatula i was doing this to be nice and acting as if uh i was you know cutting into his time and he no longer i i no longer was providing value you know who does that narcissist you know i'm sorry but i'm not going to be his fuel not going to be it All right george massey basically i'm done with you as you're not serving my purpose of validation right because I'm not like, oh, Mike Rinder, oh, you're great, you're great, amazing. Condescending? Mike Rinder, Rodney, <laughs> Mike Rodney. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> hey, Tip45, great to see you. Morning, guys, listening today. Love you, Marilyn. Right back at ya. We are stronger together. Absolutely. We are stronger together. Yeah, women must be useless. He's a jerk, Roddy. Mm -hmm. Mic drop. I don't know what the mic drop was, but there's a lot of mic drops going. <laughs> a lot of drop in the mics in the spatulas. Yeah. That wasn't intended to be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. I I wouldn't want to see what, what was intended to be disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> Blake Balake. <laughs> we're going we're going to war, Balake. Hey, Balake. Hey, Blakey. Blake. Blake Reed. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. More shit posting from Mike Render. When will he learn that like Scientology? Osa Tech also doesn't work. You've grown weak, old man. I hear ya. I hear ya. Um Brooke Elliott. Yeah, Mike, you sound real appreciative to no one, as usual. Such a <laughs> We're having fun with that Rodney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor victim. I know. Darvo, I hear you. Mikey feels understood. I know. Most understood. Poor Mike. Poor Mike. Yep. Um, we're just a toxic, venomous, uh, you know what mob. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I hear you guys. He has hurt feelings, as Goot says. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going down the line here, looking for comments. But what are we at? Okay, we're not quite an hour yet. Kim Collins, comment. The two who wanted to stay on the board kicked off, stay on board, kicked off, and now they want, yeah, and now they want off the board. Right. They kicked off the two that wanted to stay on the board. Now they want off the board. Uh, thank you. Well done. And burning those biscuits. That's right. All right. Mischief managed comment. Sounds like Mr. Com Mr. Render needs a communication course. Yeah. And I never considered myself a good communicator. I really, I know I'm not. Um, except that 
I just try to be real. And you guys put up with all my ums and ahs and my brain fog, my fibro brain fog and everything. Um, but I do really try to consider um consider people and have um uh, I know I'm not super intelligent, but I uh I think I have some emotional intelligence and I try to learn from my mistakes. And that's all we can do, right, guys? It's just listen and try to learn from your mistakes, you know. I don't really know what to say that hasn't been said. That's right, Fibro Gal. I hear you. I hear you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brooke Elliott, comment. This never ends screams. Get your dang TRs in. Mike Renner. I hear you. I hear you. Lisa E. Yay, romper room, Marilyn. <laughs> I said that recently. Nobody understood me. I felt so old. Yeah. And, you know, they never said my name because my name is like wicked old fashioned. And, you know, they have the mirror and they'd be like, I see Bobby and Johnny and Jane and Lynn and Jennifer. Never Marilyn. No, never Marilyn. So that's why I dropped my spatula at the time. That's how this whole spatula thing started was reset my name. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, I was I was cooking. And I heard her say that I was, you know, in the chat because I had said hi. And I dropped my freaking spatula. And that's why I have this mug <laughs> in my merch store. It says I dropped my effing spatula. It says fucking, but there's a little asterisk there. Mm hmm. Yep, had nothing to do with Aaron. Had to do with, yeah, Miriam, right. Yep. Kate D, comment, rabbit worked for the government before her channel. Uh, she knows how to conduct herself. Yeah. With class and uh, talk about discretion, being discreet. I mean, I've, I've heard that word over and over and over by, you know, lack of a better word, the, that side. The other side, it's just it's just a word that they use to try to get you to shut up. But um, when I think of it at, with um, somebody like Rabbit, um, she shows integrity, discretion. She says um, what she means. She means what she says. She chooses her words wisely, and she is um, trauma informed and just just a good person, just a you know humanitarian who is trying to help. And then she gets called a dog. She gets called a dog. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it burns my you know what. It really does. Yeah, you're still thinking like a Scientologist. Gotcha. Absolutely. So we got uh Southern Bell, Rose Gold. Hey everybody. I would love to just shout shout out everybody in the chat. Great to see you all. Um, yeah, this is strange, right? Escaping Falcon's maze. I'm just catching up, but did he say that he's a witness to a serious crime, but he will only come forward as a witness if you are nice to him? That's very transactional. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if he's a witness to a serious crime. He did say something about um, corroborating her story or corroborating her case. Um, he did tell her at one point in email and on an email saying that he um, had some information from A and E or or the the uh, production company's lawyer, but he was withholding the information because she wasn't answering his questions. So yeah, that doesn't sound good. Um, hey, Joel McCoyne, comment. The more we hear, the more we know what tone deaf man he is. I have said this before. It must be hard to see the, the obvious when your head is firmly planted up your butt. This goes for the A AF board. I hear ya. Joel, bring in the wise words as usual. Usual. Um. <laughs> Green-eyed lady. Comment. <laughs> Marilyn Rose, thank you so much. Love to all. And yeah, Rinder. I was like the dung heap. Yeah. Um. Yeah, something reeks about this. Something reeks like the dung heap. Mm-hmm. Blow drill. I support healthy boundaries and your right to speak your truth. Thank you, Blow drill. That means a lot because, like I said, I, I am plagued with self doubt a lot. And I was like, should I even bring this out? But, like Natalie said, if people, if it's the internet's buzzing and people are talking about it, I'm like, you know what? And I'm sitting on these receipts. I'm going to put them out there, especially, you know, fair, fair play, right? Uh, they want to lie about me. They want to uh, gaslight people and uh, <laughs> act like that. 
and bring out that um, terrible video that they did yesterday and call um, people, um, you know, what mobs and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to bring the receipts. Um, Blake Reed, loyalty and respect are not owed. They are earned. It kind of burns like a bitch when you lose uh, both from so many, doesn't it, Render? Yeah. Um, and uh, I, um, you know, once in a while, like a, a like a scripture verse will come up in my head, like um, about um, he who shows no mercy will receive no mercy. And I think I think there's something to that. There's a lot of stuff in the Bible I think is um, you know, pretty decent, like the golden rule, you know, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Nothing wrong with that. That can be applied to anything, no matter what religion or non-religion that you are. And um, I do think it's some type of thing in the universe. I don't know if it's karma. I don't know what it is. Energy or just common sense, whatever. Um, I do think about that. It's like, I want to show compassion on others because um, someday I might need some compassion. And I do. I know I need a lot of compassion every day. I need a lot of uh, forgiveness probably every day because I do stupid shit all the time. But um, yeah, it, there's another thing. It says, you know, forgive. Oh, we're having our Sunday sermon, guys. <laughs> forgive and then you'll be forgiven. It's like, um, I, I want to have compassion on others, but then there's also boundaries as well. And if there's people that are just being totally tone deaf, totally blind, that they're doing sneaky shit, they're, you know, screwing their friends over, screwing over their community. Um, there is a comeuppance, I believe that has, that has, has to happen, you know? So, yeah. So anyways, just trying to, CC comment. John said he spent months studying the Discord, yet even his title is off. John did not go to the beginning. Did not go to the beginning. I'm not sure what that means. He studied the Discord. He's, yeah, he knows everything. He knows everything. Oh, the TR, Xenu Eyes. Yeah, yeah. Pants on fire. Yes, I will write that down. Absolutely, absolutely. Pants on fire. Great idea, Mary Reno. I love that. I will definitely see what I can do. <laughs> gonna gonna faucet. Oh, trying to click on one. Go to faucet. I couldn't decide if he had the RBF or the Scientho face in that video. Jeez, I don't know. That's how that sounds like uh, a pro snappy thing. And this sounds like a Natalie thing. <laughs> it's not, yay, hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> yay, hip, hip, hooray. Yep. Maxine, filler and Botox store, stare. Oh, filler, Botox stare, Rodney. Yes. We're having fun with the Rodneys today. It's like our Reese always says, they know what they're doing. The whole interview was a quid pro quo move. Yeah. It did sound like a fluff piece and a quid pro quo and all the, all the things. Yeah. 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 I agree, guys. Mm. Fiona. Uh, oh, let me go down a little bit so I can read the whole thing. Comment. The look of utter contempt he had on his face when he was questioned about the police report uh, where he docks the personal details of two essay victims. That's where my stomach turned in disgust. Yeah, I hear you. That was not good. The body language was, yeah, that was off the charts. That was off the charts. Um, just the, <laughs> and then the thing of when, when ATAC, when John ATAC mentioned about Luis Garcia and Aaron Smith Levin founding the Aftermath Foundation. He's like, hmm. and me. It's like, okay, yeah. I bet he said me a lot in that too. Me and I. Mamma's life. Hey there. Your response to Mike was perfect. Thank you, Mamma. That means a lot. That means a lot. I really appreciate that. Who is Rodney? Okay, let me show you. So, so you know how, um, did you know that when Scientology um, kicks somebody to the curb, like uh, shuns them, disconnects from them, uh, in times past, they would actually get a yellow uh, paper, sheet of paper, uh, a declare, it was called a, um, 
or is it a suppressive person declare? And they would get this official, um, you know, goldenrod paper. So uh, I was thinking about that one day and uh, I decided, because I'm always thinking about things to crochet, I crocheted a golden rod, right? So uh, this is Rodney. This is Rodney the golden rod. And I'll just flash really quick. That's his head. And uh, he's happy to see, he's happy to see everybody. And he's got his little Navy hat to make him a little more, um, you know, YouTube friendly. And plus he's ready, he's ready for business. He's reporting. Yep. And uh, his feet, his feet say, oh, his feet say SP TV. <laughs> so this is Rodney, the golden rod. He might be a little distracting, but I can keep him here for a minute. Oh, this mirror thing. It's funny with. His hat's a little crooked, but yeah. So that's Rodney. This is the story of Rodney the Golden Rod. And I should say too, um, you know how many cults, including Scientology, including uh, the one Dwarf Hope that I was in, uh, really frowned on, well, not frowned. They, they don't, um, they don't like the LGBTQ community and has um, persecuted them and oppressed them. So I decided Rodney need, needed a husband. So uh, this is Rodney. So meet Raymond, Raymond the Rainbow Rodney. And yeah, so that's that's Rodney's husband. So yeah, so there's my buddies. All right. Uh, so that's Rodney and Raymond. All right. I'm sorry, I'm way behind, guys. I'm going to just go to the start. Thank you, Doc. Um, Okay. Literally, literally, Cherry Bakewell. Uh, I stand with Miriam. That's right. No justice, no peace. Absolutely agree. I absolutely agree with that. Um, Stay Speria, need more triple C in your life? Join the FB group. That's right. Yes, we have a Facebook group where it's coffee all the time. <laughs> yes, it's coffee time all the time. Thank you so much, Stay Speria. Appreciate that. And I believe that tomorrow um, on this channel, uh, I'm not sure what time yet. I will just, I'll put it on my community page. I'll put it in the Facebook group and uh, schedule it. But Farrell, Cheryl, and I will be on, and we might have a guest. We'll see if they're available. And we will be, I'm going to show you. All right, let me put these guys away. <laughs> let me put these guys away. All right. And um, I ordered. You know, Farrell Cheryl, even though she lives in Clearwater, formerly Clearwater Cheryl, she's from the UK. And we had this big debate. First, it was a debate about kettles and uh, microwave water, which we settled that. Now there's this Marmite debate. So I ordered some Marmite. I haven't opened it yet. And there's also something called uh, that she ordered. So I ordered it too, or she has some. So we're going to try these together. She's going to tell me how to eat Marmite and show me how to eat this too. Uh, this is called... Auntie's spotted dick steamed puds, 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 puds. Yep, microwave for 30 seconds. So we're gonna try some auntie spotted dick pudding. <laughs> I, I just reading the I'm just reading the label, guys. I'm just reading the label. So yeah, so that happened. And then there's something, these are something like pretzels or something. Yeah. So we're gonna try all the things. So that's tomorrow sometime. So yeah, that'll be fun. So we like to have fun around here. We like to just talk about spicy things and bore, you know, boring old men, you know, <laughs> that are full of themselves. Bonnie Lucas comment: Mike very plainly justified his statements on two types of people using LRH rules or advices. Really? Whoa! And yeah, just like I said yesterday, it's that black and white thinking. The black and white thinking is ridiculous. Blakey, Blake Reed. Hey, Blakey. Bolake. PSA to Mike Render. Aaron is still a victim. He doesn't have to confirm or deny that. We know it. Keep the victims' names out of your MF mouth. I hear you. I hear you, Blake. Or you go to war, right? Mischief managed. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I got to clap. Thank you so much. You gifted a membership. Thank you so much, Mischief Managed. And whoever got it, if you could, um, if you get a uh, tell them thank you. That's amazing. And I got another cub. Yay, yay. 
Kelly O'Donnell, why hasn't Leah Remini said anything about this whole MR mess? I don't know. As far as I know, she she has said some things. Um, not really what I would like to hear. She did call Mike Brown and was basically saying that she threw her lot in with Mike Rinder, much like what what uh my ATAC said, I'm throwing my lot in with you. And yeah, anyone who criticizes Mike Rinder is no friend of hers right now. I, I have a feeling she might she might change her tune at some point, but we'll see. We'll see. So uh hey there, Heather. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh Heather H H A K Triple H. Uh watch old video of Rinder denying that Miscavige beat staff. His denial is very similar to his denial. Uh, to ATAC about covering up child abuse. That would be interesting. Yeah. I do remember the very round eyes and the kind of that. I don't know if that's just his mannerisms, but I do remember that. Mm -hmm. And he, I remember him actually commenting on that saying, look, I look such a, like such an idiot. Well, uh, sometimes uh, history repeats itself, you know? Oh. So. Bo Beats, comment, has anyone noticed how much more classy Aaron has been about this whole debacle this far? I have, and I'm impressed with the um, in-keeping of his TRs. Yeah, I do believe he's really handled that very well, very well. Oh, my God, I'm so behind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ian. <laughs> oh, my God, I got 10 more cups. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, my God. I think this is like... Something like, uh, I can't even talk, 460 something. Oh my God. Thank you so, 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 so much. Everyone, thank Anne. If you get a uh, a membership, please say thank you. <laughs> like, replace the golden rod with a golden rule, Mike. Yes, I agree with that. I agree with that. Veronica Ward, thank you so much for the super sticker. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, there she is. I just talking about you. <laughs> Peril Cheryl. Oh, you've been in here a little while, I see. Big gentle hugs to the fibro warriors in this chat. Yeah. Yeah. I my heart goes out to everyone that's suffering and struggling with any um type of chronic illness, chronic pain, fatigue, anything like that. Um you know, there's people with cancer. Yeah. Um, definitely big hugs, big hugs. And I, and I know, I know how the fibro feels. I I know. Oh my God. <laughs> Terry, <Berry. laughs> thank you. Five more cubs. Oh my God. Thank you so much. That's amazing. That's amazing. Five more. Yay. And whoever gets them, please say thank you to Terry. And uh, yeah, check out those emojis guys. <laughs> And I will be posting some more uh, just to let you guys know what you get for $2.99 a month. Um, get emojis. Get emojis, guys. And also, um, I do put up member material, uh, different videos. Mostly, so far, it's just been things, you know, around the house or at gigs or my goofy puppies, things like that. And uh, I post those. And then the next day or the day after that, I do make them public because I want everyone to, to share. In, in the joy, you know, of seeing my goofy puppies or whatever else uh, I put up there. So, Peekaboo, Summer Savage. Hey, hey, Summer Savage. I haven't seen you yet. Good to see you. Uh, Summer Savage, the way they dismiss rabbit infuriates me. And the rabbit was the dog in the dog in the fleas comment. Yep. Uh, you heard it from him. That's what he said. That's what he said. And honestly, that it was from, was it March 5th or something? A few weeks ago. Not like I ran out to make it public right away. I didn't even tell Rabbit until last night. So um, I was trying to be discreet. But yeah. Um, you want to go to War Balake? I mean, not not our Blakey. But um, yeah. You want to just keep putting out, putting out crap? And uh, saying that... Um, you know, people that speak out about it are the ones being toxic and like, you know what, mobs and all that, then I'm going to bring the receipts. You know, I'm going to bring receipts. Yep. So, oh, what? Is this a new one? <laughs> I can't. I get so excited. <laughs> Thank you so much, Terry Berry. I don't even know if I brought that one up yet, but I'm just, I'm so flustered. <laughs> 
Thank you, everybody. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. I love it when I get new cobs, as you can tell. Uh, cooking with the grandma. Question, how much so did Vermont get yesterday? We got 28 inches here at Nospe, New Hampshire. Um, Duncan is going up to, I can't remember what ski mountain it is, honey. Can you put that in the chat? Is it Stratton, Okemo? What is there? Stratton, Okemo, another one. And I think he said the same thing, that they got over 20 something inches. So uh, he'll be going away, going skiing. I don't know how much we got here. Not sure. But. MJ is eating spotted dick while watching Mike Render. Seems fit. Oh, eating my. Yeah, that's true. I thought you were eating it right now. I'm going to try it. And it's, it looks pretty good. It's like, I guess it's a cross between a custard and a, and a sponge cake. And it says it has salt. So what's a sultana? S U L T A N A and raisins. So, yeah, those are the spots. And Kelly Copter said that they used to uh, serve this at school, like school lunch. Like, would you like some spotted dick? <laughs> you gotta get that looked at. I'm just saying. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, I got a few more. George Massey. This is for A. Ron, Mama Bear, coming for you with the membership. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. I told Aaron, I was like, I am, I'm coming for you. I'm knocking on your back door and I am ready to uh, rumble here because he's got 50 times more sub, more subscribers than me. And uh, I've got probably about half of the amount of memberships. He's like, what is it? I'm like, well, partially the emojis, I got to tell you. So I did give him some, I did give him some. Buck up buttercup when Mike jumps out from behind his wall of silence to attack people who were kids when he was head of OSA standing up for those who uh those folks isn't venom. Absolutely. Yep, I agree. And we talked about the snow. Love and life M and Mike Render, Mark Claire, and all the ends doesn't justify the means. Okay. That's right. All right, one more comment, honey. <laughs> he keeps putting up more. Sorry. Uh, Bonnie Lucas comment it is Ben said of Leah Remini that she needs to keep quiet because of her court case and she needs Mike Render's testimony. I don't know whether that's true. That could be, that could very much be. Yeah, I agree. That could be it. Okay, everybody. I'm going to put this one up. Lathonda and Lathonda Grocklich. I remember Mike pronouncing your name a lot and you you were a huge supporter of him and you know uh blown for good and everything and so to hear you say this it just breaks my heart that they don't give that they don't care about um people that were huge supporters so lathonda comment mike an old white male hijacking the trauma of yeah black community is disgusting yeah and actually it was it was a tech that said that but they were both <laughs> good defying about it, which I don't think it's funny at all. I really don't. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for all your comments. And I hope it wasn't too. <laughs> I I hope it wasn't uh, too intense for you, but good to see you all. And uh, I will show you some pictures. <laughs> show you some pictures. Um, let me get my little list here. I don't have a ton today because I kind of ran out of time because I was bringing up all these receipts, but I will share some with you. All right. And we've got, okay, this is from Pam. Uh, this is Princess Leia. Look, <laughs> Princess Leia looks so comfy. <laughs> just chilling, just chilling. And the next one is also from Pam. This is her kitty, uh, Castile. It's C-A-S-T-I-E-L. Look at <laughs> her. Both of her fur babies know how to relax. <laughs> Look at that. One eye open. That's so cute. <laughs> uh, I like big cats and I cannot lie. <laughs> okay. Next is from Andrea. She sent, Look at Oh. <laughs> That is Sammy. Look at Sammy. Oh, I just want to squeeze him. Here's Sammy. Hey. Hi, Sammy. 
Okay, next is from Mischief Managed. Oh, look at this blanket. Um, I guess, she, I think she said she's a new crocheter and is making this blanket for her granddaughter. Isn't that gorgeous? Very well done. Very even stitches. I love it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Very nice, very nice. Um, okay, the next is from Cinderella, Cinderella. <laughs> and this is, we. if anyone hasn't been around um, for the past couple of weeks, we uh, have been talking about 80s hair for some reason. So if anybody has <laughs> some 80s hair pictures, you can send them in to coffee calls and crafts uh, at gmail.com for baby pictures and, you know, iguanas, whatever, whatever your pets are. You can send scenery, um, anything you want within reason. Um, no Rodney's, but yeah. Okay. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. And so yeah, next is from Cinderella. And this is her and her husband in the eighties. And that's, I don't know if they both had perms, but I know that Cinderella said that she has very thin hair, much like mine and had a hard time kind of getting that lift. And that was her husband. He's a, a musician, I guess. I don't know if he still has long hair, but look how cute they are. <laughs> What a beautiful couple, even with the 80s hair. Okay, and next, this is are her two fur babies. This is the one in the back, Lola is, uh, that's Lola. And the one in the front is Elvis. She said he's a big boy. Look at Elvis and Lola. So cute, so cute, so cute. <clears throat> and last but not least, I'm not sure if this is a dog or another kind of animal. You can, you can decide, but um, this is a, Beautiful picture, beautiful picture. Um, it could be a dog or it could be a rabbit. We're not sure. What do you think, guys? Dog or rabbit? And uh, the little comment there, commenter says, rabbit doesn't want drama. So there you have it. There you have it. There's uh, rabbit, rabbit the dog. <laughs> we love rabbit. Okay, guys, so. That's that. So that happened. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, it's been, it's been a time. It's been a time. Uh, we'll have even more fun tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm going to sign off. If anybody needs to email me, it's coffeecultsandcrafts at gmail.com. And please leave a, a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I love to hear your comments. If you watch it on the replay, please say hello in the comments. And anyone else, you know, want to throw something in there for, for the algorithm. I, I promise you, I read every single comment. So, all right, everybody have a great day. Talk to you soon.